my Goku fam, I'm back with another video and today we're more on the serious side because I received so many messages of so many students that's having some difficulties finding houses and uh, asking me for advice especially um, being a student here in the Netherlands so why not do a video explaining all those things that is needed to have a more layback, relaxed student life. So let's finesse all these tips and let's get started. The first step that I have for you guys is pray. Prayers literally helps. I don't want to brag about God and everything because I know some of you guys aren't religious or anything but I swear if you pray and you pray talk with God every day when you go to sleep or you, when you woke up in the morning before going on your phone just talk with him I swear everything that I, that I achieved till today it's because of him and you will see eventually that everything will go finally and smoothly without even having to stress tip number two have patience literally you need to have patience here in the Netherlands for everything and always stay focused to your goals if you came here to um, do a specific study because you didn't have it in your country go for it don't let anything bother you from achieving this here in the Netherlands if you came like especially from Curacao, Aruba or Bonaire, it's a small island. Here in the Netherlands, it's a bigger island and I swear there's so many options and you can get distracted easily. So please stay focused to your goal and have patience. When you feel like kicking someone, count till 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Breathe in, breathe out eventually it will help sometimes you want to punch some people in their face like what is she doing i don't want you to get a straf blood or anything but hey if you need to punch someone if they're being disrespectful go for it tip number three be prepared mentally you will um face so many obstacles difficult obstacles in your life that you're like oh no how am i going to achieve this always go back to tip number one pray pray if you think like okay i'm getting stressed the f out i can't do this no more talk with him i know sometimes you're like okay what i'm going to do i can't pay this i can't afford this i have to do this like eventually you will have to face many of those times i face them myself to be sincere with you guys i don't have a laptop and for school you need need it's a must to have a laptop you you can do nothing without a laptop um and it's frustrating me because i don't have the money to buy one it's a struggle but my faith in god it's so high I talk to him daily I know that eventually he will bless me with a laptop that I want at the right timing so right now I don't have to stress even though I'm stressing sometimes you know you, you know the struggle but be prepared mentally um, the following tip the weather the weather here in the Netherlands is a let's be straight to it straight to the point it's a you can walk out of here and it's 25 degrees in five minutes it's 10 degrees hey i swear i ain't leave even lying right okay right now i'm saturating so much but i swear it's like that so always walk prepare with your jacket or anything i know sometimes especially in the winter times it's cold outside you don't want to woke up take a shower and head out of house or anything you just want to stay in bed all day but 
just woke, wake up do your thing boo and head to school or head to work if you have to the diable tong ako basina e wala ra kita diable no lage diable lu maku basin ti mentlang next shop less you literally need to shop less here in the netherlands i know primark looks so inexpensive suddenly those 3 4 5 1 2 euros accumulates to 200 euros don't do it so don't just shop less if necessary if you got the, the, the money to do so then so be it thuis bezorg uber eats please please eat less outside and don't go and buy food on thuis bezorg or uber eats stay focused to cooking at home i know the day go by so fast and you don't have the, the time to cook nothing. Cook on Sunday for the whole week or find a better way for you to get some time to cook and eat at home. This saves you so much money, I swear guys. In the beginning, I was like, okay, that is off. Iber eats all the time, but my money was... Next tip. Um... Before coming to Netherlands, save some money. Many people tell you, okay, you have to save thousands of thousands of euros before you come to the Netherlands. If you don't have this money, you can survive. That's not true. That's not true. And I'm a living people, living person, a living that knows that it's not true. If I ain't going to lie, I had only 800 euros only 800 euros i was like nah how am i going to find a house with it with so less of money but girl boy coco everything is possible stay perseverance perseverance is that the word queda perseverante Confia de mes que da cara fe. Una vez botin e tres cos na ki, kereme nada no te impossible. Nada. Before you come to the Netherlands, you need, it's a must to have a address to register yourself at. If you don't have an address or know someone to do, so you can register yourself to a you can do nothing. You can even open a bank account. This is the most important thing that you have to um, keep in mind before coming to the Netherlands. If you have a driver's license before deregistrating yourself at Tranchi, always ask for a echtheidsverklaring. It's important to change your driver's license with this paper. If you don't have this piece of paper, girl, boy, Coco, you can change your driver's license. One moment. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, Roderick. After you sign yourself at the gemeente and you receive your BSN number, you need, it's a must to sign yourself also at a health insurance. Look for a health insurance and register yourself to it. This is so important because the longer you wait, girl, I swear, you will get a fine that you'll be like, what the is this? So immediately after you receive your PSN, register yourself at a health insurance. You can use the site in the pander. I'll put all the links of those important sites below in the description box. In the pander is the site to go to when closing a health insurance or any insurance. In the pander gives you the most the most inexpensive insurance to the most expensive insurance ever so you have 
options you also have to open a bank account if you don't have one how are you going to get paid like how T tell me how are you going to get paid when searching for a job independent is your best friend independent i swear my phone keeps getting mail 10 times per day of new job offers often when getting a job or it can be most of anything they will ask you for your passport so they can register this into their system but if you came from the from curacao especially i know from curacao um we don't have our basm in our password passport so if you ain't planning to change your passport to one of the country itself you can ask for a utrexo ask you have to buy this sorry this paper you can also identify yourself because it helps your um details your your name surname everything on it and also your bsm it's also so important to have this by hand when they can identify my passport i use this thing the itraxel or i use my um health insurance card if your study starts in september apply for this in advance if your study starts in september apply for this since january or before that because i swear i'm still ain't done with duo duo give me headache there are some people that was so quickly done with duo but 80 percent still still struggled with duo in the beginning I've asked this since January, my study start September, and they're still not done. I'm still missing a piece of the money. Next one. A, the advertising here in the ne in Netherlands, it's so good that you will get tempted to close a subscription, but wait, don't. don't don't put yourself into that like don't close subscriptions that's unnecessary this saves you from getting yourself into debts open all your mails and posts guys guys let me explain to you what happened to me i have a subscription for um internet i was having problem with my sim card because i couldn't receive calls people were calling me like for a job offer and everything and they couldn't get in contact with me so i called t-mobile like hello my chip isn't working or or are you guys having some trouble or whatever they were like yes i saw in the system that is with your sim card and we're going to send you a new one all right i received my new chip into the bus you know everything a these people had the courage really had the courage to charge me for the sim card i was like nah uh uh, -uh. i called them i was like hi sir sir the last time you told me that the sim card had trouble is because of you guys why are you charging me for this sim card why the f are you charging me it was like oh no i didn't notice that we charge you for this we're sorry we're going to get this out of your facture i was like yeah because if you don't and if you charge me at the end of the month for this i'm going to send it back and i want my money back be aware of scammers not only for housings but everywhere they try to scam you please be aware of this set priorities first and budget your money to the max i use specifically budget i'm just going to put a screen for you guys and i'll explain to you guys in depth how i use this specific app here you guys can see the app budget i'm freestyling everything so you guys can get an idea what it's like to have a student 
budget and I've also added the most important things as a student. Um, so the study, finance, zorgtoeslag, work income, um, your school expenses, um, rent, groceries, etc, etc. And at the end of this um, video, at the bottom right, you can see the balance in total that will be your remain at the end of the month that you can spend on everything that you want. So yes, simple as that. It's really simple and I really, really recommend this app. Buy your school books second hand. Um, this saves you so much money instead of go buying a new book. Um, different size that you can um, buy second hand book is um, yes, Ball Study Store and Book Match. Also, you can check on Markplatz. They also play some second hand books there. So it's super handy and super inexpensive to buy second-hand books. Next step is check out for weekly folders for big deals and sales, especially at supermarkets or beauty stores, drug stores. This will save you so much money and you can buy things in two to three pairs. It's one thing that I expect for sure are shower gels, toothpaste um, juice all those things I stack them because those things I can go like months without needing to buy one monthly do grocery shoppings at Derek Aldi and Lidl these three supermarkets are most inexpensive one don't go to Jumbo or Albert Heijn because I let me say if you're at real you got so you ain't going to shop at albertine or at jumbo because those supermarkets don't even have the things that we are used to buy for cooking or anything else let's be honest most of the time i go to Derek. the max that i had to spend at grocery shopping was 75 euros i didn't go beyond that never and it fill my fridge completely. If you're going to buy meat, um, I recommend this place in Rotterdam. It's so inexpensive and they have sale all the time. All the time. And beyond that, they're so clean. Their meats, their chicken, everything that they sell is super clean. The place itself, it's super clean. Vegetables fruits fish the go-to is marked <laughs> you can explore like okay this station has this broccoli for two for two euros the other station had it two for 150 you know so Hello. You have option and you can see where it's more inexpensive than the other one. You can buy cleaning supplies at Action. Action is like Casa Cesar. Action has everything for the most inexpensive money ever can buy. I swear Action is the go-to. Most of the things that I have here in my home are from Action. I swear. Only my bag. My bureau and my mirror isn't from action but anything else let's say for decor it's action from cleaning supplies to decor you have to go to action Cleaning housings here in the Netherlands it's super difficult finding a house studio room apartment whatever it's super difficult if if you want to live in the most known countries in the Netherlands. For example, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, The Heutrecht. I swear those are the most busiest countries here in the Netherlands and the most 
difficult ones to find housings. A few sites that I can recommend to find studio, room, apartment, housing or whatever. Um, let's say one of them if you, that you eventually will get a room, studio so fast is Kamernet. Kamernet is the holy grail. The subscription of Kamernet is a bit expensive but usually you will get a place on Kamernet in less than two months if you react daily on rooms or studios there a eh, you will be done in no time i've also had my um got my studio from Kamernet, and i also have a friend that got her studio in just one week one week no joke so i really recommend Kamernet. if you're really looking for a apartment i recommend pararias it's a bit more on the expensive side but let's say if you're going to live with your boyfriend or someone if your guys are going to split the rent or everything i really recommend that um besides that for housing a campus is also one of them but it's a site for housing more in the unknown countries if you don't feel at home and you feel the need to go back to your country do it don't let the opinions of other affect your decisions in life if you don't feel at home you don't feel good you know you're having hangway whatever just go back in the first year living in the netherlands it will be a struggle you still need to adapt to new lifestyle changes but after that you will get the hang of it you eventually will get the hang of it and life will be so much easier if you finesse these tricks these tips your life will be so easy in few months you're going to transform into a better woman a better man of yourself and you'll be like wow i just grow up i love this transformation of myself life it's really so good it's beautiful and the thing that i love here from the netherlands it's like a hate love thing because some things i don't love at all from netherlands but the most of the beautiful things here in the netherlands there's so much possibilities look beyond the bad things look beyond the negative things i really need to say that always look beyond because if you look beyond of the negative things and you see the positive things that life brings also a a life oh my gosh your life will be amazing i swear life will be amazing i've been here in the netherlands one year and a month already a i've transformed into a better woman i can talk i can elevate myself a I finessed the whole lifestyle I grew up. I'm a better woman. I'm a strong woman. I can do this. Nothing is impossible. I'm getting emotional here, guys. Nothing is impossible. Always keep that in mind. If you put yourself, if you put that in your mind, nothing is impossible. Nothing will break me. Eventually, you will get everything that you want. Yes? so that was it for this video cocos i hope these tips helped you guys so much and i see you guys in my next video bye bye cocos love you guys and success with your student life